you had mentioned also some uh, potential changes or looking into potential changes when it comes to crime. Uh, one of those is to looking into violent offenders, multiple uh, offenders, those who commit multiple violent crimes not being eligible for bail. Absolutely, and I would support that 100% only for the reason that individuals that continually co commit crimes and can be released on a million dollars bail or five hundred thousand dollar bail they're back on the streets they're threats to the people that are witnesses in the case so the governor's bringing out a good point that we have to look at that very s s uh, seriously and again it, it, it involves looking into the constitution the legal, legal legality in the Constitution. And a very few seconds left on the other side of that for nonviolent drug offenders, you also want to look into the possibility of having uh, rehabilitation Patient, programs yeah. for them. Absolutely. The ones that aren't nonviolent crimes that are sitting in jails, it's a l more cost-effective situation if we can rehab these individuals through centers throughout the state rather than letting them sit in, sit in jail.